Audio 14 Delivering Speech Delivering speech is an art. A great speech on paper is not a great speech unless it is delivered effectively. The number one thing that you can do to improve your delivery is to practice. Know your content, know your transitions, know your timing. Stand up and deliver your speech in the bathroom before you deliver it in, in the boardroom. To become an expert or a professional speaker, anyone must practice properly. No one can be a good speaker overnight. Practice after practice can one a good speech maker. But for practicing properly, you must follow some rules and techniques and the following will help you to achieve excellence as a speaker. Be ready for a speech. There is no such thing as an unprepared speech. Every speech has to be prepared. How much preparation is needed? The amount of preparation depends on the newness of your subject. For example, if someone were to ask you to speak about your college or university days, you would need less than a minute to prepare. I'm sure the current political situation will need more thinking and hence more time to prepare. Most often when you are invited to speak, your host will say, speak one anything, whatever your favorite is. In the beginning, try to get your host to give you a subject. If not, find out what the occasion is what the background is, who the organizers are, what the objective of the organization is. This should give you enough for a generalized speech. Extempore speech An extempore speech is a speech that is given without any preparation, so it is more or less tough especially in English. So as a non-native speaker, we must know some points and techniques. Making an extempore speech is often associated with certain occupations and activities. Giving an honor, receiving an award, winning a prize, obtaining a nomination for a high office, congratulating someone for his achievements, etc. But no matter what you do for a living, you may be asked to deliver certain types of extempore speech in your life. Now, we will discuss such types of delivering speeches. Actually, delivering speech is not so easy if you do not have any experiences. So, for delivering speech, you must know some factors. For example, you will point out welcome speech, acceptance speech, Award presentation speech, commemorative speech, commencement address, dedication speech, etc. For setting style in your speech, follow the steps. How you say something can be just as important as what you say. Step 1. Assess the stage of people who you will address. Factors such as age, gender, political affiliation, social status, religious beliefs, and interest should affect the type of language you use. Step 2. Choose words that sound important without actually saying anything. Good examples include urgent, critical, hot, crucial, fascinating, etc. Step 3. Use commanding language to express authority. For example, instead of saying I hope you will, say I recommend you. Step 4. Address the audience in the second person, you, to make the audience a part of your presentation. 5. Use the terminology of the people you will be addressing to establish a bond, if appropriate. For example, 
if addressing a group of computer programmers use technical language. Step 6. As your main purpose is to deliver the message, keep your language simple and concise by avoiding complicated sentences and big words. This will help your audience better understand your speech. Step 7. Hold the audience's attention by keeping your language action-oriented. Use specific nouns and use verbs in the active voice. For example, instead of saying, the report was written by Mike, say, Mike wrote the market analysis. While delivering a speech, follow the steps. Mastering your tone and body language is the formula for successful delivery. Step 1. Approach the podium confidently and put your notes in the place where you can see them easily. Step 2. Stand up straight with your feet shoulder wide apart. Look at the audience. Keep silence for a moment and begin speaking. Start your speech addressing the audience and guests. If there is no microphone, project your voice. Step 3. Set the tone in your interaction with appropriate spatial expressions and diction and a specific mood. Step 4. Make eye contact, eye to eye, with people in different parts of the audience, including the back row. Don't fix your eye on one side or on some fixed people. Often move your eyes. Step 5. After stating main or key points, give a pause to allow the audience time to absorb the information. It is better to utter the key points twice. Also, use natural and relaxed hand gesture and facial expressions to emphasize certain points. Step 6. Pronounce your words correctly and clearly and vary your rate, pitch and volume to keep the delivery lively. Give the right stress and intonation on the right words and sentences. Step 7. Keep cue cards of main points. Refresh your memory by periodically glancing at your notes. But avoid reading from your notes directly unless you are reading a long quotation. Step 8. Close your speech by thanking the audience and then confidently exiting the stage. Different types of speeches. Different occasions will demand different types of speeches. So we should keep in mind some points for different types of speeches. For getting an idea about some important speeches, their salient characteristics are given below. Welcome speech. The welcome speech is a must in a formal meeting. It is normally the president who delivers the welcome speech or the welcome address as it is formally known. Welcome speech is just a speech in which you will welcome the audience. It is typically delivered at the beginning of the meeting, conference, convention or reception. It is the first presentation that the audience listen to. It sets the tone for the entire event for the attractive starting and a welcome speech must accomplish a few basic functions such as salutation, it is the first formal speech in a meeting, it is the duty of the speaker to start building a bridge between the audience and the people on the days and so his salutation will include the names and designations of all the people on the days making people happy you must make the audience feel good about attending the program the easiest ways to do this is to describe the structure of the audience in the 
admiring stream. Say any dimension of the audience structure and sound excited about it. For example, we have got over 1000 people here today. This is the largest turnout we have ever got. We have people from different level, places, culture, countries. General welcome. It is my pleasant duty to welcome you all to this meeting. History. You must refer a few words about the past events, those which happened before the event that is happening and has brought about the gathering. Purpose of the meeting. In the formal setup, the purpose of the meeting should be explained to the audience so that they will start expecting something out of the meeting. Individual welcome. All the people on the days who are not members of your organization need to be individually welcomed. The order is first, the most important person for the meeting, generally the chief guest, followed by the guest of honor, if any. Do not begin the individual welcome by saying, when we went to meet our chief guest. This is irrelevant. Similarly, phrases like Who readily accepted our invitation? Who has come here in spite of his busy schedule? These are cliché and spoil the impact of your speech. It would be much nicer to say We are honored with the presence of We welcome you, sir. A long depending desire has been fulfilled today with the presence of Mr. in our midst. I welcome you, sir. Specific welcome. Welcome the VIPs in the audience, not necessarily by name, such as the past presidents of our chapter, presidents of the Rotary and Lions Clubs, press person present in our midst. Welcome the sponsored organization or organizations and say a few words about them. General welcome. Once again, welcome everyone present. Conclusion. I hope you will have a pleasant morning or evening. Thank you. It is not necessary to say on behalf of this organization and on my personal behalf. This is another cliche. The fact that you are standing on the days denotes that you are doing so on behalf of your organization and it does not matter whether you personally want to welcome someone or not. The welcome speech in the biggest of meetings should not last for more than five minutes. A normal meeting requires only a two-minute welcome speech. Questions from audience are a welcome sign. It shows they have listened to you. Answer if you can. Otherwise, ask all present to answer. Do not bluff. Do not feel hard. Answer with wit, tact and humor. Answer short and sweet. Be at your best. Never try to recall what you had written and rehearsed. Speak as it comes to you naturally. It will be far superior to the write-up. Ignore if you have erred and no one noticed. Admit and correct if it is pointed out. You should address any logistic matter or next agenda functions that need to be handled. Before I introduce first speaker, I have a few announcements about our acceptance speech. The most acceptance speeches are those in which the recipient offers genuine thanks for the word, briefly praises those who helped him or her qualify for the word, describes what 
that a word personally means to him or her. So, for delivering an acceptance speech, you may follow the following points. 1. You must express gratitude, acknowledge those who helped you in achieving your success, and praise the group presenting you with the award. 2. Briefly express your feelings and can say how you will use your award and say if you have any future plan or upcoming work to be succeeded. Award Presentation Speech We live in a world of ever-increasing recognition ceremonies. Why? Surveys routinely shows that employees are motivated more by recognition and by money, and so are most other people. As the award ceremonies increases, so does the need for the award presenter. So probably safe to say that sometime in your life. You will be called upon to do the honors, so follow the following points. 1. Describe the word or honor in detail. 2. How is the person qualified for the word or honor? 3. For presenting a physical award, read it out loudly. 4. Inspire the audience and invite them for giving a big hand. 5. Pronounce the Wanneri's name correctly. 6. Keep it short but not too short. Notably, don't praise the Wanneri to the point of embarrassment, the audiences, the honorees, or your own. Commemorative or celebration speech. Celebration speech remembers and honors people, places, or events. It is typically delivered at a ceremony held in a conjunction with a holiday, birthday, or anniversary. Of course, commemorative speeches are not limited to formal, somber occasions. Anything can be commemorated. For this speech, we may follow the following points. 1. You should explain what is being celebrated and why. Number 2. You must honor the person, place or even being celebrated and you should inspire the audience. Number 3. Try to tie the past to the present by putting the audience in the picture and make the speech more relevant to them. When delivering a commemorative speech, I try to not only observe the anniversary of holiday, but give the past as it recognizes a purpose today. Russell Fingold, USA Senator History itself can be used as a forceful public speaking tool. Commencement or Inauguration Address Commencement address is a speech given to a group of people at a graduation ceremony or opening ceremony of any company or farm or business or annual ceremony or any big program. For delivering this speech, you may follow the following points. 1. You must praise the audience, segment them into groups, graduates, or workers, or their friends and relatives, or teachers or high officials and administrators of the program. 2. Say the past importance fact a little bit. Highlight something from the present situation and give some guidance for the future. Dedication Speech Dedication speech is delivered in the dedication ceremony for offering it to someone as a sign of thanks or respect. In dedication speech, a few basic rules are always applied. They are 1. 
thank the people involved. This includes the people who did the work on their project, the people who arranged the dedication ceremony and any organizations involved. It is also better to give thanks to the volunteers. 2. Put the project in historical perspective. Talk about how the project evolved, how he had the idea, how was it organized, where did the fund come from. 3. Explain the significance of the project. What is the impact on the community? How does the project make a difference in people's life? Do not worry about boring the audience by thanking a lot of people and giving a lot of credit. 4. Highlight any incidents happen to apply the action. Felicitation speech. A felicitation speech is a speech through which the certified or prize owner is praised and highlighted for his or her good deeds. It is delivered when someone's achievements are publicly recognized and appreciated. The winner is by a data is your ground document. So collect it beforehand. You need to spend some time with him and get him to talk about his achievements before the event. Follow the following points while giving the speech. 1. Begin the speech by giving a full salutation, a few remarks related to the subject and the winery. 2. Highlight the hardship and winery went through to achieve what he did. 3. Say something that he cannot do to himself. It also serves as a motivator to the audience to follow his feats. Reply to the felicitation speech. This speech is given by the person who is being felicitated. It is generally a thank you speech. A thank you to the organizers who honored him. The people who helped him achieved what he did. Informing speech. Informing speech is a speech for giving information. So, while speaking to inform, the best course of action is to be as simple as possible. So, keep in mind the following points. 1. Collect all well the necessary information. 2. Use presentation aids to help clarify information process. So maybe handouts or flip charts or slides. 3. Walking the audience through to slow and carefully explain something to someone or show someone how to do something. A series of steps is highly effective in informative speaking. 4. Break everything down. Don't make assumptions. And the treat key points. Persuading speech. This type of speech is delivered to make someone do or believe something by giving them a good reason to do it or by talking to them and making them believe it. So, be aware of the following points while making a persuasive speech. 1. Using logic and facts to lay out your argument is the most effective way to persuade people. Anticipate questions. Keep returning to the key reason for supporting your cause and be confident. When appropriate, use emotional appeals. They are also effective. A full salutation precedes this speech. Vote of thanks. Vote of thanks is the speech which triggers of a um, migration to the exist. So, the speech must be short enough for people to catch it before they leave the hall. 30 to 45 seconds maximum. 
No salutation go straight to the subject. I have the pleasant task of thanking 